Ես արիքն է բչով է բելիցիրվ առոմելից համտածարշի արիս, մաս չիքն է բելիմենտ է լիրոմելից չեն սնուսմ իմ դեպսը դեպս մեպս թավ սարձնովինոց չին ավուլոտ, չին, ծիրույս դասաց պիշի, Հիստիան ու տրատիցիաշի Չեն վեկն է բալբատ շեսած լեպ լոտարով, այս որիվ է մոմ լոցիսատիս դազախիլի կամովի պենոտ թիստախուր է բաշի, չեր իկնել բա զարիս թեքո, դա շեմ դեկ իկնել բա մույեզինիս ձախիլի, ռոմերց ամպերտկանտագերին Մամա մեկոբարի եկոս չեմ եկ, ձե մեկոբարի եկոս չեմ եկ, սուրի մեկոբարի եկոս չեմ եկ, ռոտեսաց ձի միակ զա։ My sermon is entitled The Nexus, The Connection Between Christianity and Islam, A Close Connectivity Between These Two Great World Religions. It should be self-evident that the social solidarity and community interaction between Christians and Muslims is not just a product of citizenship, but also stems from deep religious values. While a superficial scrutiny of Christians and Muslims might suggest that these groups of believers are dissimilar and opposing factions, the opposite is true when we scrutinize the theological building blocks of these two great religions. From the outset, Islam describes Christians and Jews as people of the book, an honorific title that requires Muslims to be, to be respectful and tolerant of the followers of these two great preceding religions. In fact, Islam regards itself as integral to the Abrahamic family of faith, worshipping the same sovereign God of the Torah and the Gospels. How can the two of us, Muslims and Christians, become closer together as friends and in faith? But before we do so, let's first be frank and honest with each other. When we find opportunist, opportunist clerics and hypocrites of our respective religions, deforming the uplifting teachings of both the Bible and the Quran. For example, Saudi Arabia, that medieval bastion of Muslim fanaticism, they banned the building of all churches on its soil. While here in Georgia, a small minority of Orthodox Christians in the village of Samtaskara, in the eastern region of this beautiful land, are now preventing local Muslim residents from performing their Friday congregational prayers. So what Saudi Arabia does, and what the Orthodox hierarchy endorses here, are not only denial of human rights, we must resist this crass deformity of Islam in Saudi Arabia and the contamination of the inspirational message of Jesus in eastern Georgia. The first of these suggestions, we all need to familiarize ourselves with each other's face. Number two, Neon. each of us should seek to develop genuine friendships and close relations with at least one person of the other faith. When we don't know each other, we will always fear one another. Christians and Muslims should make every effort to respect and honor the religious functions and holy days of each other. Muslims should attend the religious highlights of the Christian calendar, while Christians should...